Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and this is a new segment on my channel, um, which might be exciting, which might not be. We'll see, we'll see. So, a designer diary. Uh, this is just a pun, because it's a designer diary, of course, but the game that I'm going to try to design, <laughs> with the emphasis on try, is called uh, movies with double O because it, uh, as I already told in a uh, previous Vertuving Life episode, it is based on the artwork of uh, a friend of mine uh, who sometimes draws these cows uh, or these characters from movies in a cow version, uh, which is pretty funny and that inspired me of well, I thought I can, I, I should try to make a game um, based on that artwork because that looks kind of fun to do. So here we are. Why this designer diary? Yeah, good question. So I've been trying to design uh, for a while now without success. Uh, I do have a game that is uh, in a very late stage of prototyping. It has been played. It's uh, it's decent it needs tweaking of course it needs development it needs artwork it needs to be published will it ever happen i don't know will this ever happen with this one i don't know either but it's a cool experiment i think to do this together with you so what the plan what is the plan um i'm going to show you the game or at least the prototype that i made so i started making a prototype very early in this game uh which most designers tell you that's one of the most important things to do. Make a prototype as soon as possible. So that's what I did. I haven't playtested it yet because hmm, COVID, of course, uh, very hard to get uh, a game tested. Uh, this is also first version for players only because I still need to figure out in the future how it would work for two to four players maybe. We'll see. But that's where you come in as well so i'm going to show you where i am at this moment i'm going to tell you about my ideas about how i see this game uh, in my mind at this moment but you can and please do you can give your ideas in the comments tell me what you think give me some su suggestions things to add things to remove what are your thoughts and uh, i hope i can play test these things in the future and come back to you in a new episode of this designer diary uh, show you the changes or maybe tell about the changes that i tried but that didn't work and why they didn't work or why they did work so that's uh sounds for me that's like a cool experiment for me it's also an incentive to uh really try to design this game because that's the hardest part <laughs> keeping up with trying to design that particular game sometimes you just lose interest sometimes you think i'm stuck uh, but you're just one brain now we're multiple brains together multiple um, creative minds together that well maybe together we can design this game so i'm going to uh, move the camera to the table and uh, show you what this is all about okay there we are movies now I have to admit this is not the first iteration of this prototype already um, so let me just show you how these cars uh, evolved already in the first days of this design uh, so I use sleeves with a magic card underneath it this is from an old design that I tried it didn't work out uh, but this is the first card that I had it changed I added color to it to make it a little bit more well, better to see which colors or which type of movies we are because this game is about movies. And now I've added one more thing here and I changed the, the place of this uh, yellow symbol or number as well. Uh, so actually this is already the third iteration, uh, but still it is new, unplayed, untested. And let me see if I can get this in this sleeve again. So what is this game about? Let me tell you about the inspiration of this game first. So, um, well, of course the artwork, but uh, then I started thinking, what can I do with that artwork? 
and it was movies, so I thought let's do a set collection game where you're trying to have the best collection of movies. Blu-rays or whatever, who cares? <laughs> uh, the team is uh, maybe a little bit thin in this game, it could be more anything, but uh, as I said, it's based on that artwork that I like. So, I thought set collection. Of course, in order to have a set collection, you need to have uh, a way to get your movies in your collection. And uh, I thought, uh, then I thought about the game Biblios. And uh, Biblios is this uh, very good uh, bidding set collection kind of game uh, where uh, you're bidding for cards that you use afterwards in the in the second part of the game uh, to buy cards with again, to bid again, and then to score points with the cards that you still have. Uh, but uh, I changed this a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to tell you how this thing here works, this player board, and I still have to paste this new version on here. Uh, made one small change, which is uh, this little arrow. That's a, a very small change, but hey, so this should be here. Okay, so what is this game about? So I'm not sure how we, the game will start. I'm still not sure about that. But the thing is, every turn, a player, there will be a starting player, of course, will, there will be, a, of course, a big draw pile of all these movies. We have 80 cards. Uh, we have five genres of movies. And we have movies from 1980 all the way up to 2019. Two of each year. We have, uh, as I said, five genres. There are four here on these cards with action, drama, comedy, sci-fi and animation as well. That doesn't have that one of those cards. So what is going to happen in your turn? Uh, if it's your turn, you're going to draw a card or maybe you already have a cards, some cards in your hand and you draw one more and you look at it and you decide. If you're the first player, you have four options to place this card on this board. And this board will determine how to how this card can be gained by another player or by yourself in the, in the, at the end of this uh, placement phase. It's a name that I can give. So the Despicable Mu, this movie uh, is an animation movie. Uh, it is from 2010, and this is a special action. So what can I do? I can choose to put either this card in the first spot here. It's there you go, and it has a starting bit of one, so the player who adds this card here already puts a bit of one on this card. As I said, this is a face down card, so nobody really knows except you <laughs> what this card is. You can also place a card here, face up, or here, or you can place a card in this slot here, like this, so only the special action is showing. Okay, this can be in any order. So the first player chooses a, a spot, the second player chooses a different spot, third player another spot, and the fourth player, well, the fourth player doesn't have a choice really uh, where to place the card, but there will be four cards at the end. Okay, and then we go to the next step. So we will have a card here that gives tells you one of the few things. We can have decade, it can have AA, which stands for Academy Award, it can have genre uh, it can have let's see if we have some we have more it can be a wild so any of the other ones let's see if I can find the other ones it can have nothing or it can have this X X uh, symbol here so we have a card like this and the player can place the player that plays this here is kind of also asking about this card one clue which in this case is decade. So these tokens here, they have uh, all this information on them that can be asked about on this card. So this card, oops, sorry, this card was a 2010 card. So the player that played this card would have to take this token here and place it on the card. So, other other players know that this is a card from 2010 to 2019, somewhere in between that uh, part. All right. Okay, and then bidding starts. So 
then we're going to see how important people think this card might be for their collection. Because at the end of the game, of course, there will be scoring uh, either, uh, well, especially uh, about in which order your uh, movies are, because you will have a grid 4x4. Four four, and these cards are kind of big. I guess I will have to do smaller cards, because at the end of the game, you want to have a 4x4 four four grid in front of you. And each row of four cards will be a decade and each card that uh, is from the correct decade in your row will score your points. So you know this card is from the latest decade, so from the for the bottom row. And maybe you need cards for the bottom row yet, uh, still. So you might want to bid. Uh, bidding, I'm not sure about that yet, so give me uh, your ideas about that. So for now it is very simple. Uh, this player already has the first bid on the card, uh, the starting player, and we go around. Next player can bid. If he bids, he, he just tells you, I, I bid two. Uh, maybe the next player passes, third player, uh, fourth player bids three, and so on until somebody, so until everybody but one player passed. And I'm also thinking about maybe adding some uh, part here where uh, the player, maybe the player that's chose this card or maybe another player i'm not sure yet maybe one of the other uh, cards here i'm not sure um there might be different types of biddings that you might choose from maybe a blind bid maybe uh well there are all these different kinds of bidding stuff bidding is normally not my type of game but i think i will like would like it in this uh game so but for now it is just normal bidding highest bidder will take their player token and place it on this card, they will get that card. For this card, at this moment, I have a fixed price for it. It says three now, so uh, we'll see that we'll have to we'll have to figure out how much this fixed price would be. Um, that's something to play test. This one here, so these two players will get a card into their collection. These two players, they won't because this one. Uh, first of all, they would get the money that was paid for the most expensive card of both of them. So either three, or maybe if maybe if someone bid five for this card, they would get that five dollar. Uh, Plus, this goes into the bin. This is gone. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not gone. This card will be placed uh, in the sales bin somewhere next to the board. The player who gets this action. The last player of course they will get to activate this bottom part which is an action so you I, at this moment I've got five different actions so I've got the action of the action movie which allows you to uh, orthogonally move one card one place in your collection either left right or up or down so you can still uh, move uh, cards around and I think it should be switch cards uh, with each other. If there's already a card next to it, you can, you can switch them from the, the place. We have the action that's right over here with the uh, arrow to two sides. You can switch one card from your collection with one card from the bin. Now I put an asterisk here because there, is, there should be also be something that solves the problem if the bin is still empty. So that's that. The info one here lets you let gives you a token one of these which you can use at any time you can spend it in order to look at the face down card so maybe you want to, you want more information and you might get it because you have one of these the money uh, symbol here for, which is all all comedy cards lets you take two dollar from the player with the most money and talking about money, this is a closed economy. So players will start with a number of money. I, I For now, I've got $10 for each player and they will exchange. So we will never have more than $10 uh, per player in the game. So keeping it a closed economy. So if someone pays a lot for this card, another player will gain quite a bit of money here. That's how it is <laughs> planned at this moment. We also have the cards of the uh, with victory points here, well, they just draw a random victory point token. I've got 10 of those because you can maximum have 10 of these, uh, I think. I might be, might be wrong about that. <laughs> uh, maybe you can have 20 if the game goes really crazy. So you draw a random token 
this are uh, has six ones uh three twos and one three point word token so that way you can score points besides the, uh, besides the other ways to score so at the end of the round this this would go away so uh, each player that paid for a card would place it somewhere in their 4x4 grid and we have a card in the bin as soon at the end of the round where we had four cards in the bin then in a certain turn order and I'm not sure yet I I, I think the player with the least cards in their collection go, goes first and if there's a tie I have to figure out what the tiebreaker is but they can choose one of these four cards to either add it to their collection or to use the special ability on the card again and then it would be discarded and removed from the game so after every four rounds there will be the bin phase where you get a card from the uh, bin also at the end of this or maybe at the beginning of that step so after every four turns uh, you will get a new scoring ability or a scoring a way to score games at cards at the end of the game because maybe in the beginning you know some things that will score there will be uh, scoring for the decades there is uh, scoring for at this moment for the most uh, the majority in Academy Awards uh, some cards some movies like this one with the yellow here it would of course be a picture of an Academy Award uh, if this th and the numbers are not important at this moment so this movie the life of Pi the life of Mu uh, had four Oscars one for Academy Awards uh, the number is not important at this moment that was the first idea I had that the number was important but I changed it so the majority in Academy Awards that's also something that will score points to that player um, but also these things and I made a few but I I want to know if you have some ideas as well so if every time we do this we will draw one genre and we would draw one way of scoring that genre for example this so in this case and we put it together so sci-fi movies in your collection would score four points for each one of them in the corner of your grid your four by four grid for example and I have uh, different ways to do that so at the end of the game you will have four combinations and I, I'm, I want to make more of these and maybe not all uh, that have to do with placement but also maybe something else I'm still thinking about that this is something that I just added today uh, so I'm still thinking about that but uh, that might be a cool way so every four turns you would know more about how to score because maybe this time you have this four turns later you know the action movies you want them like that so you're trying to manipulate how you are going to place these 4x4 grid uh, maybe moving cards with your special actions that you have and so on I also have these tokens here uh, these are uh, I'm thinking about maybe like some kind of Razzie uh, awards <laughs> which is not good of course uh, if you have to pay because you can bid something maybe and if you cannot pay the bid you can bluff a little bit and try to although it's an open economy so you know what other players have so this is something that I can probably already throw away because if you don't have the money you cannot bid for stuff so uh, maybe the Razzie minus points tokens or maybe minus points for the player who has most of these might go away or maybe we will add something that adds uh, that, that is bad uh, and you don't want to have and would score you these tokens I'm not sure if you have any ideas let me know so I think I covered most of it and I know it's a lot it's a lot and it's maybe it's not the best explanation that I gave so a short summary uh, every round a player first player will take a card choose a spot to place it second player does the same in one of the other spots third player in another spot uh, maybe like this and this doesn't have to be the way that I made it I just like it uh, this way it feels a little bit crafty uh, although it doesn't work all the time um, like this I could also just cut this away and place the card underneath it so that the action only only the action is showing so but you can place one here and then you can place one here 
and then we go first to this bidding phase after this bidding phase has done and there's a player who bought this card then the next player would get second choice of a card they can choose either to take this this or this they place it and we do it like this and then the player who takes this card gets the highest money so either the fixed price or the bid and this one gets the uh, this card goes into the bin this card does the action and gets the lowest amount of these two when the amount is the same both players get the same of course uh, play, cards that you buy they go into your grid there are the fixed spots so as soon as you place them they will stay where they are unless you can activate actions also these actions if you have more ideas of these actions maybe add some maybe remove some change some let me know what you think and uh, put them in the comments and we will see a bunch of cards I have also have two options so this one counts both as an action and movie and a comedy if it's here as an action you can choose one of both actions so there we go after four turns there will be a full bin four cards then in a certain order players will take one card to put in their uh, grid or uh, do the action again and place it in the discard pile every time that happens we also get a new scoring combination so people players will know how to score points in in their grid and at the end of the game you will score those you would score points for majority in academy awards you would score your victory points that you might have gotten from the animation movies and you would score a certain for the animation movies i had a way of scoring that would be if you have one in your collection scores one point two two points three four points uh four no three five point i don't, i forgot so it's one two four seven ten thirteen always three more uh, after that so you could try and focus on animation movies but there are less animation movies than the other movies in the deck and that's it that's it that's a very not short pretty long summary of uh, this game introduction uh, so let me know what you think about this let me know if there's always already something that you think this is absolutely garbage this is not going to work let me know also if you there are things that you really like let me know as well any suggestions are welcome of course and that's it's first that's my first first episode of this designer diary uh it it was a lot i know but i hope i got you here um i forgot in my summary that for example uh let me tell you about these first before i stop here so what can you get as a clue so you can get um the decade of course i already showed you that you can also maybe have a card that asks for the genre if this card was here then the player here would tell you that this is a comedy or an action movie or whatever uh, you can also have a card that asks if this card has an academy award or not so i still need to make a token where it says it doesn't have academy awards so then you would place this token here and this one means this question if uh, the card asks you an xx like this one here then uh, again if it has two different colors so not this one but where is the one with two colors so if this card was there like this and this card would ask xx then it if it is with two colors then it's like that so the players do know that they have two chances of getting the right color that they want in their collection by bidding on this card maybe they have this token and they can see what it really is but hey so that's the idea let me know what you think wow that was a lot thank you for watching the first episode of the designer dairy for movies the game uh thank you for watching folks and hope i hope you get i get a lot of comments suggestions ideas uh, in the comments thank you again and see you all next time see you soon bye bye